fait ça. A fait ça. Mais déjà, comme vous avez une... Yeah. Mais si vous avez employé les motifs, c'est une information à faire basse. Yeah. Je vais vous donner un box. Mais qui est-ce que vous avez fait le Yes, je suis un chien qui a fait sa computer et un computer. is called to order we are here today to decide if source data entry device is guilty she has been charged with stealing information from her workplace with the intention of making it fraudulent against them she was found in the act by keyboard entry devices and she's here today to defend her case Source data entry device, how do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. And where is your lawyer source data entry device? I will be representing myself today. Okay, noted. She will be defending herself, court. Please make this record noticeable. Source data entry device, tell us what happened. Your Honor, I work at Computers Inc., right? And I was in the office, in the back room, doing my job. I'm source data entry, Your Honor. See, I'm source data entry. And my job is to put data into the computer from their physical form and then I'll transform them into a way the computer can understand, into a computer readable form. So aren't those stolen and goods? That's all I was doing, Your Honor. No, 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 Your Honor. This is not, these are not stolen goods, Your Honor. This is my job. These are not confidential items I was stealing. I was putting them into the computer so that oh. it can be converted okay. to computer readable form. And then you persons like you or my boss or anyone else can edit them your honor i wasn't stealing okay noted source data entry device due to the clear aspects of this case i hereby dismiss the charges against the source data entry devices yes, this you. was all a misunderstanding so much, by keyboard entry devices Source data entry device is an input device. Yes, I was Your simply Honor, doing device. her job. She will as such not be charged any longer for this act and she will be released from custody. Source data entry device, Thank continue you. to do what you do you. as an input device. You Thank need you so to Your put Honor. that Thank data into the computer so, so that much, persons Honor. like me, as you said, can be able to use it in a computer readable form i can edit it i can email it to a friend hey i can tell my lawyer friend about this case that's, that's not supposed to happen. scratch that from the record that's not supposed to happen right so good job source data entry device so you're an input device you're good work yes i'm an input device i've been an input device for as long as i can remember You just started working at the company. You didn't even ask me what I was doing. You just reported me to the cops and now we're here. What's your name anyway? Me at Keyboard Entry Devices. You're my sister? You're on now? You are sisters. She's an input device too. We're sisters. My sisters, oh my gosh. Oh, my sisters. Oh, and 
once again my court continues to bring families together. channel I am your busy teacher and I'm happy to serve you up another video on input devices this one in the subject of information technology I am so thankful for all my subscribers keep sharing my videos keep liking keep commenting so that everyone can be a part of this awesome thing that I'm doing okay today's video will be about source data entry devices and just in case you didn't get the memo from the skit that you just watched, source data entry devices are electronic devices that allow physical data, physical documents like your text, your pictures, etc., to be put into the computer in a computer readable form. And then you can, of course, edit it and do whatever you want with it after that. So your scanners, your OMR, OCR, MICR, what am I talking about? They are all source data entry devices and I'm going to tell you about them right now. But I won't be telling you about two devices. That is the OCR and your digital camera. After I'm finished telling you about all the source data entry devices, I will leave that one up to you. Go research, figure it out, and come back and tell me in the comments what it is. I look forward to hearing from you. So let's go. So first up is the scanner. It's an electronic imaging device that uses light sensing equipment to translate images of text, to drawings, and photos into digital form on the computer. Now there are many advantages and disadvantages. Firstly, it is a quick and accurate way of entering existing text, images, etc. into the computer system. And as for the disadvantages, it takes up a lot of space to store all those scanned images. And that's the second disadvantage. Scanned text will become images, so you won't be able to edit them as you would like. The optical mark reader, on the other hand, senses the presence or absence of pencil and pen marks that have been made on special forms. The advantage is that you can input a large volume of data and do it very quickly while needing less persons to input that data. On the negative side though, if those pencil marks are not shaded in properly, the machine may misread what, was, what has been entered. And if the forms are creased or crushed, it will cause the machine to jam. In addition to the fact that if the forms are badly damaged, those texts will have to be entered in manually. The barcode reader. No, I'm sure that we've all been to the supermarket at one time or the other and have seen this device. It is pretty simple. It allows data to be entered into the computer by this device reading the barcode that is on the product or item that is being scanned. The advantages are that it provides instant updates. So when an item is scanned, the system automatically notes that there is one less of that particular item in stock. In addition, it improves on the accuracy of transaction and the speed of transactions. It is, however, very expensive to set up and it is limited to only items that have a barcode on it. Now, have you ever been to the bank or have you ever held a check in your hands? Did you notice those encoded numbers and letters at the bottom or sometimes at the top depending on the check well this type of encoded number you see there this the ink that is used to write it is called magnetic ink and it requires a special input device to read it and that is the magnetic ink character reader 
this will read that encoded ink that specialized magnetic ink and then send that no computer readable data to the computer the advantages and disadvantages are quite similar to the OMR and the barcode reader in that they enter data a large amount of data very fast and requires less labor to do so and also they're very expensive and if the checks are damaged that are being entered or they're crushed or creased as i had said before then it's going to jam the machine and those checks will have to be keyed in or entered in manually it's study tip time who said studying can't be fun Let's find out new and interesting ways to study and not fall asleep while doing it. Here's your study tip for today. Use music. Play music with a catchy, relaxing tune. Never use music or songs that have lyrics to them. They will divert your attention and take your mind off study. Unless it is that you can zone out those lyrics. And remember guys, subscribe to my channel, share my channel, comment below, and like my videos. And have a good and godly day. For what lasting valley is a good day, if it is not also have a godly day. Peace out. Bye.